is this system working globally or is it just a system working for few people and we are just uh, dancing around with them? Um, that's the question. Uh, as you see, the concentration of wealth and income is in few people. The rest of the uh, world uh, is not there. Uh, they are struggling for a square meal. Uh, they are struggling for survival uh, from, uh, by getting some treatment from diseases or lifelong uh, suffering from diseases. For a simple cure was available, but it's not there. Mm -hmm. So how to redesign the whole thing? It's, uh, it's possible. Uh, Do you have thoughts on how to redesign yes, the Yes, indeed. Whole thing? Uh, one of the things I um, keep talking about, the whole system, what we call now a capitalist system, is based on uh, the fact that business's job is to make money. And everywhere uh, people are busy making money because that's what is defined as the mission of all people and all businesses. Mm. Uh, and making money has become an obsession. It was not simply a business you do for a certain, it has become an obsession. Uh, even uh, in some cases an addiction. And that's why the financial crisis came, uh, because of an addiction. Uh, at that time, uh, lots of editorials and post editorials were written the, uh, as an explanation of the financial crisis, why it happened. And everybody's saying that uh, they used the marketplace as a gambling casino. Uh, they were betting on the chances that will make enormous amount of money, and they did. And they had the incentive to do it because exactly, they were being given they bonuses exactly to do it. To do it. And mm. they had the, all the reasons. We built a system mm. to uh, play uh, as a gambling casino. Mm. Uh, so that's not a marketplace uh, of the kind that we would uh, expect. Mm. So uh, it made the system go in that direction. Yes. Greed uh, took over. And even the editorial says it's a super greed, not even greed. Even normal greed probably would not have created that. It's just, it mm. led to the super greed. So people became greedy because of the way it encouraged people. I said this is a very wrong interpretation of human beings. Hum human beings are not greedy robots. All they do, repeat the same thing over and over again, uh, chasing money. Mm. Uh, we are not uh, money chasing uh, robots in this planet. We are human beings. We forget that we are human beings. As a human being, we have many aspects of our life. We abandon every other aspect of life, concentrated on money making and so much concentration that it distorted us. And economists put that distorted person at the center place of their theory. That this is the, he's the hero, he will change everything. I said, no, he's not the hero. He's the one who will, uh, who will destroy the whole system. A human being, as a reasonable person, as a person who wants to see uh, benefits accrue to all the people rather than just myself, protect the planet for all of us rather than destroy it because I'm so blind, I couldn't care less what happens to the planet. I'm busy to make money. I want to catch the uh, next announcement from the uh, stock market that my uh, stock price is soaring. That's all I'm interested in. Mm -hmm. I'm the successful person. And I've, I've forgotten everything else except for that uh, figure that comes out, uh, pops up in my screen. Uh, that's where we went wrong, that we are uh, such a narrowed down entity. So if we uh, expand ourselves, we can create other kinds of businesses, business to solve problems. We have enormous creative power in the world. Uh, today's technology uh, can solve all kinds of problems. And it's very easy to understand uh, that what was impossible yesterday, Today is a routine possible, not only possible, it's a routine thing. You don't even ask the question, uh, how did it happen? Should I have received it now or later and so on? It's such a thing that you feel that you are born with these facilities. 